Hi kids! It's been a little while, hasn't it? Um, I just thought I'd celebrate some slightly new camera thing. You know, you, you know how you get a new camera and you just want to capture everything? So yes, I hope you enjoy the new, insane, awesome, awesomeness of quality here. Um, and while I had this guitar on the bench, I thought, what, a, what an awesome moment for a, a teaching moment here. Now this is, um, this is not by, me, by any means a new trick. This is by uh, not any means sophisticated or awesome or anything like that. It's just if you hadn't considered it before, if you, the, the home tinkerer, are thinking of doing any work on your guitar, this is a, a nice little, I'm not even going to call it a hack. It's just a little tip. So uh, excuse the tuning. As you can see, I'm having a little bit of a problem with this Squire Jag, and it, it and it's in the uh, the bridge pickup here. Now, there's a function here where it's where the pickups switch from series to parallel, and that I think that just as far as I can tell so far, what it means is it's not the two pickups in series; it's just the humbucker itself in series or parallel. So it's it's working beautifully for the neck pickup, but not so much the bridge pickup. Um, so I'm thinking, you know, you would think maybe there's a short in a coil somewhere, but I don't know if that's the thing because if there was a pure short, in the, yeah, who knows? Uh, oh yeah, and of course also this is the uh, single and humbucker mode. So it's difficult to tell if it's doing anything for the bridge, but you can definitely hear, definitely hear that that's happening in the neck. So there might be one coil dead in this one. Possibly, possibly, possibly. If one coil is shorted, well, shouldn't that put them both out if they're in series? No, not necessarily. If they're in series, if one is shorted, then it should be behaving in single coil all the time. And then when you collect, when you connect them in parallel, then that short will become apparent. So that's not exactly what we're dealing with here today. The quick tip, the quick little hack that I'm gonna show you is I wanna get underneath this pickup because Something's going on there. So uh, I've loosened the strings, as you can tell, and I want to get, you know, in an ideal world, I would get the strings off entirely, right? Oh, this isn't going to work. Oh, is it? Is it? Oh, I have a special tool here for lifting the tailpiece. Um, maybe the tailpiece, it's the, the, the posts themselves are maybe just a little too wide, but I think you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Rather than taking the strings off at the post, I am just going to lift the tailpiece and uh, you can probably see I have a capo capo uh, up here to keep the strings roughly in place so they don't go flying all over the, all over the shop. Now we've got safety tuners on this jag and that just means the ones with the slots where you stick the string into them. And as you probably know by now, if you loosen those, they're gonna go spring. So let's not get them too loose. Now you notice I'm not using a regular slotted screwdriver for this. You can, you can do that. If it's your own guitar and you don't mind marring the actual posts. Uh, Cause the, the trick with that is uh, if you use a nice thick, mm, thick and juicy bladed screwdriver, you can get away without marring them. But whenever you have a little bit of play there and it's a bit tough to, to move, you're going to mar the, uh, the posts. So what I like to do also is if you have a thick ass, let's actually do it with this one. You have a thick ass slotted screwdriver. What you can also do is put a little bit of masking tape on the, uh, on the blade so that you are less likely to mar and you'll notice, ooh, it fits nice. It fits real good. See, normally we hate slotted screws, don't we? But I've found that if you have the right size of blade, they actually work pretty well. So there you go, there is my big old hack of getting the strings out of the way without having to take them off entirely, without them going all funny up at the post there. And you know, sometimes you try to take a string off and putting it back on is a bit of a pain in the arse. Why am I putting the post back into place here? So I don't lose them. And now, now I have access to this, this lovely little humbucker pickup. And that is where today's top tip ends.